Wow. Remember those good old days down under the railroad? You're about to solder, you're making a good joint, and then all of a sudden, the world drops in on you to say, hi. Yeah, those are wonderful times, but Fly-By-Night Industries has a solution, and a good one, so stay tuned. Okay, let's get real. I'm not Fly-By-Night Industries, but I do want to show you a couple of ways to make your life under the layout a little easier. So let's take a look at how to build that under layout chair. The first thing we're going to need, obviously, is a chair. Personally, I like the beach chairs because we can adjust them to any height for any situation underneath the layout. The next thing we'll need is a piece of plywood, one that is long enough to reach from the front uh, leg support to the back leg support. Now this one's a little long so it can be cut off. The next thing I need quite obviously is or are four casters and these can be any size. The larger the easier they'll roll on carpet uh, the smaller ones will roll just fine on concrete and some of the harder surfaces. And I use carriage bolts and nuts drill through and screw these attached onto the bottom. Then the next thing for safety is we need to attach the chair solidly to the base. So some EMT connectors like this work perfectly. I put that over the leg, screw that down in, and we're ready to roll. Let's go back down to the layout and take a look at another version of this chair. This is the chair that I built for Steve McKee. Originally I thought the wheelbase had to be a lot longer, but in actuality your legs will counterbalance the weight of your upper body. It's amazing to me how many tasks are performed under the layout. So to make your travels under the layout a whole lot easier, try going to the workshop and build your own version of the under the layout chair. In the meantime, I'm going back to the basement. <laughs>